in so let's just get right into it so basically this video is part of the reason why i left youtube for eight months and all social media in general just because i never really explained what happened or why I left for so long. So, I don't know, I just feel like I owe you guys kind of an explanation just as to what was going on at that time. Part of the reason why I left YouTube is because all of the rules that just really happened randomly um, because of the policy changes on ads and stuff. Like, I mean, my channel was never monetized anyway, but like, I noticed that it still affects my channel, like my channel is restricted um, unless your restricted mode is off, like it doesn't, my channel does not show up unless your restricted mode is off, which is really weird because I've never even talked about anything that was on the list of topics that are not acceptable anymore, so I don't understand what that was. So then I did some research and... <laughs> YouTube, at least for me, like I remember in like 2005 or 2006 when YouTube first came out and I remember just, it was such a place of people just being themselves and and having an opinion and giving advice and helping others and like doing question videos and just, it was such a positive community, you know what I mean? And it was great because like I ended up coming out, um, in 2009 right before my 13th birthday so you guys i've been out for 10 years i've been out for a f decade and i just um i remember when i first came out i would go to youtube because i mean nobody really comes out at like 12 13 so i went to youtube to find others like me find others who were out and there was like a bunch of people like i remember tyler oakley and i remember shane dawson's bisexual video and that was really those kind of things just really helped me through my time of feeling alone because i came out so early and didn't really think about the fact that okay no one else is really going to be out at this time so it's going to be like tough you know so youtube was a place for me where i just felt so comfortable and felt like there were people out there that understood me and I understood them and that really was what YouTube was for me at the time and continued to be and con and continues to be still to this day and because of everything changing so so drastically I couldn't keep up with all the changes I couldn't keep up with with what was happening because there were changes like that were happening just with no notice. And um, I didn't really know how to work around that. So I just really felt discouraged. I, like what's the point if the people that I'm trying to reach who might need, who might need my videos the most won't see them because my channel's restricted. The people, it just killed me being restricted. So basically, it was a really tough time. I felt like the whole purpose of why I started YouTube was like brought into question. And I like took a f like six months to really sit down and figure out like, is this worth it? Is this, is this worth it to me? You know, is this something I can handle? Like having to adapt to changes overnight really quick and just, um, I, I didn't know if I could handle that. That period of like six months was definitely a test for me and definitely was um, challenging to put it mildly, but I don't know, I just came to the conclusion at the end of the day that even with this obstacle put in my way that can change at any moment, I really just want to keep going and I want to keep fighting and you know I had to find resolution 
somewhere like for myself and I had to just keep going and not let anything really deter me from my ultimate goal. Having a community of like positivity and no hate, like I just want there to be one place on the f internet that, that no hate is tolerated. People feel comfortable to be themselves and not feel like they're gonna get judged or ostracized or or offered unsolicited opinions, you know what I mean? And so that's really my goal. And I decided to keep going, keep making videos and keep posting on social media and, and just keep, you know, getting my message out there of just don't be afraid to be who you are, don't be afraid to to live your life the way you want to, whether it be with your appearance or just like your lifestyle, you know what I mean? Like your your decisions that you make or or things that you cannot control, like your sexuality, like own it, be proud. Learn to love yourself in your own skin. Like I have learned self-care over the last year and it just honestly is the best decision I've ever made for myself to be like, just to own who I am and just to be like, you know what, this is who I am. I'm gay and I dress how I want, big deal, you know? I want others to know that like when you feel like no one understands you, when you feel misunderstood, when you feel there is no one around you that gets you, I've been there, you know? I've been to that place and I don't wanna really get into it in this video, but I do think that, you know, just because I don't really talk about my problems in detail or open up on a frequent basis doesn't mean that I haven't been through times where I've been too hard on myself or where I was struggling with not being perfect. You know, I've been there. I've dealt with things that I think a lot of people go through that, you know, people don't necessarily want to talk about, but I really want to open the lines of conversation of just you know, owning your experience and owning situations that have happened to you and not feeling like you need to just allow yourself to be a victim, you know what I mean? You can become stronger from situations that you feel like you may not get through and then you can come up on the other side and, and you can be successful in learning how to love yourself no matter what you go through. And I think that that's just something that, you know, I hope everybody comes to the realization of. I hope that everybody learns to find a way to love themselves and just not take slights like YouTube flagging or blocking LGBT channels as something is wrong with you. Don't take it personally. Just keep grinding, keep moving, keep moving forward, keep doing you. I just hope that this video inspires others to keep being authentic to who they are, you know? Um, I guess that's honestly where I'll leave it for this video. And my series, Matthew J After Hours, drops February 24th, so stay tuned for that. And I will be posting some sneak previews. In the meantime, before everything drops, I'll be dropping the complete series on February 24th. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.